Emotional intelligence and sales are often not used in the same sentence. Sales managers often confuse emotional intelligence with soft, squishy skills. You know, not the attributes that are going to help you achieve hard sales results. It might be time for a serious reality check. Emotional intelligence has been taught in the leadership world for years, and there's a lot of research that supports your most effective leaders have a high degree of EQ. Let's take a look at one emotional intelligence skill that can help you and your team achieve greater results. Emotional self-awareness. In the words of Socrates, know thyself. Emotionally intelligent sales managers take the time to reflect and ask, how am I showing up every day with my team? For example, are you just paying attention? More than one salesperson has told me that they really don't ask their manager for advice because, well, when they do meet with them, maybe on those one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, the manager isn't present. They're, they're checking their phone, they got emails, they got calls coming in, and frankly, the salesperson doesn't feel very valued, appreciated, or even heard. The result? They don't ask the manager for advice anymore. Sales skills get stagnant, as do the sales results. So here's a suggestion. Managers, make a decision to pay attention and be present. Make a decision to treat your salespeople like you would your most important customer. If you were meeting with your most important customer, you'd show up, focus, present, listening, asking thoughtful questions, and then making decisions on the mutually agreed upon best next steps. So, do you have EQ? Because soft skills do produce hard sales results. I'm Colleen Stanley, President of Sales Leadership. Thanks for joining us.